And we are ready for the opening tip. Manny Bates and Andre Screen. Away we go from PNC Arena. Hey, it just feels good to be back with a live crowd in college basketball. Here's an early three-pointer and a nice start for Bucknell. That's Josh Doe. Kevin Keats mentioning this week he will play, but wasn't sure for how many minutes, and he heads to the locker room one minute in. This is Xander Rice laying it down low, and screen finishes. There's a rebound for Jake Vander Heiden, the Raleigh native who went to Ravenscroft High School. He has about 15 friends in attendance who are NC State students, and what a start from three, Vander Heiden. Vander Heiden getting hot. Just a little quick. Everything is just rushed, and that's what happens. You know, they're so excited, ready to What play. a move by Screen, who slams it down as the big man goes to work. 0 for 10 from the field. Up ahead to Edmonds. Good swing out. Vander Heiden, the homegrown kid, hits another. Yeah, they are off to a hot start. Played for Kevin Billerman at Ravenscroft. Played the... Uh, with my son Tommy. That's a deep triple, a big one for Cam Hayes. They, they needed that. Here's Smith for three, and the second triple for NC State. I tell you, that kid's gonna be special here, Smith. Yeah, you know, Coach Keats talks about deflections and turnovers, and, and that's what he wants to see, and that's the way that he's recruited these players that are great athletes that wanna go up and down. How does NC State find its rhythm offensively in this half? You know, early in the game, early in the season, you're anxious and excited. Just need to take a deep breath, slow down, make the extra pass. Oh, yeah. Vasco with a nice pass. The Bison cannot hit the three. They've missed their last four from downtown. Oh, Helms, there he goes. Beautiful. Right after this. 12-2 runs since the media timeout. Rice penetrates. Filthy move from Rice. Hey, that's a good, strong move. He's a big point guard at 6'3". And they're sitting on two of six from downtown. Yeah, not a bad shot. It's just so early in the shot. Oh, here comes Rice. Blocking foul. Count it. And, uh, you know, a lot of kids come and they want chances. They've got it right now. Here's Andre Screen, the seven-footer for Bucknell, testing this Wolfpack defense, and he wins it. Uh, Preseason. Probably one of the most surprising players uh, for Coach Keats. The Virginia transfer, his first year with the Wolfpack, and what a nice jumper for Andrew Funk. That 9-0 run countered an NC State 13-1 run. These teams both streaking in the first half as Smith makes his first career bucket. Bucknell has weathered the storm of this home crowd so far. That's a long two-pointer. Very odd in the college game, but it works for Elvin Edmonds. I thought it was a quick shot for Bucknell, and again, NC State wants to speed him up. Funk, beautiful dish. Timmerman's blocked. Gets it right back. Here's a doe who played right here on Saturday afternoon. Contested jumper, no. Helms tips it in. Oh, Kevin Keats wanted to travel there, did not get the call. Jamie Lucky, our lead official tonight. Fade away. That's pretty. Andrew Funk, the senior, one of three brothers to play college basketball and a high-impact player for the Bison. Helms for three. That's a good start. Here's Ivan Moda, number one in the blue from Allen, Texas, as the Funk kicks it outside. Converting the three is Edmonds. Nonetheless, what a start for Bucknell, leading by nine. Pardon my poor singing tonight on the ACC Network. Tough loader for Smith, who makes it look easy. Moda's the highly touted freshman in this class for Nathan Davis in year seven. Cam Hayes. That's a pretty free throw jumper. I tell you, that's a tough shot. And that's something in the second half. I'm sure they're going to make some adjustments. Here's Josh Basco, the point guard. Finds Timmerman, who converts. Trying to hang around in their home opener. 613 days since a home crowd of a full capacity tonight. DeWano cleans it up. Good closeout by Sebron. Funk deflected. Here come the Wolfpack with Gibson. Step through, no, Sebron, yes. Kicking it out. Hayes the triple, not even close. Seen a bunch of those tonight. Rice in motion, there's the Funk master. And he's got a three. Finds his partner, Funk. Just Andrew a, Funk up to seven points. Really impressed with the way Rice is playing. And Smith says, I can do better. 
Sets up a three-pointer, and that's a bit strong. Bucknell, 5 of 16 from deep. Look at Sebron slashing in. Uh, just an athlete running the floor. And Bucknell's done a tremendous job the first half. They have to be very pleased that you're going to see some adjustments made at halftime. Shot clock at 8. Rice has no trouble in the teardrop. Smith dishing it out to his man, Helms. Gets position and count it. His improvement year over year has been so proud. Oh, and a man. steal. NC State wants its first lead of the night, and they get it. I'll tell you. Looking down low to Timmerman. Creates position, and Dewana says no, but the finish by Timmerman closes out the first half. Unbelievable person and coach that got, got you ready to play no matter what, no matter who you were playing. He's just a special human being. Tying the knot as a national championship coach at NC State as screen finishes. You've got to keep your eye on the transfer portal. It's made it very difficult for coaches. Xander Rice with a difficult spin. Rebound Bucknell, and there's the conversion. That's Jake Vanderheiden. But Xander Rice did a nice job getting in the lane, just wasn't able to convert. Deep three for Hellams. That was unusual as the two players kind of knocked each other over on the same team. You don't see that often. Cam Hayes, tough finish. They play a slow style of basketball. It's led to some good shots tonight as Andre Screen takes Dewana to school. Yeah, that's just a great move by Screen, but again. Sebron dishes to Helms. Wants contact and finishes through it. Well, that's a nice soft touch. It Something you wouldn't have thought 24 minutes into the season opener. Quavion Smith back in the lineup and throws it in. Well, that's an unbelievable shot. He goes in there. A lot of contact between Andrew Funk and Casey Morsell. Funk gets the better of him this time and picks it in. That's just a pretty shot. The lob, screen, oh, he missed it. That was a pretty pass. Really nice interior pass, but they couldn't convert. Jaquavion Smith, that is lovely. Wow, wow to the right side and laid it up with his left hand. And Funk responds for three. I tell you, this is up and down right now, but Funk. He's won two, three straight 2A state championships at Farmville Central outside of Greenville. There's a deep three for Hallams, who's failing himself tonight. Well, that's the senior leadership. He needs to step up and try to bring this home. Fades away. Good looking shot, but he couldn't hit it. Sebron runs the point. Blows by screen and lays it in. And I'll tell you, that's what he does best. Bucknell last year in the bottom third in the Patriot League in assists to turnover ratio. That's his company to keep an eye on with 11 minutes to play. Sebron rolls around the entire lane. On the facial expressions of both teams, and NC State just has that look in their eye they want to put this game away. A little motion attack here for Kevin Keats, and Sebron zips it in. They need to get Funk a basket here. He's the guy that going to have to catch fire if they're going to get back in this game. Instead, the nifty finish from Joshua Doe. Chance for a three-point play. It's been a while since this home crowd could be a factor. 613 days. Something Kevin Keats hinted at coming in, developing his young roster to play in front of a crowd as Sebron fires him up. A Doe swings it out. Vander Heiden lays it back to him and finding his friend for three. That was a big shot. You can kind of feel this game slipping away. NC State down two big bodies tonight. Bates and now Sebron head to the locker room. Yeah, you know, we were talking to Keats. was like, I'm really excited. Got a lot of depth. This is going to be a lot of fun. He's got, he's minus two already. Rebounding and just, that's another 10 fouls for him as well. Rice creates space. And hit a nice turnaround shot. That's the first points of the second half for Rice. He now has 14. And look at Marcel taking over get a lot of minutes as they get deep into the ACC season. He's really capable of a lot of things. There he gets the steal and the nice kick ahead. Smith runs ahead. He is unstoppable in the second half. Give him 18. Women's basketball, soccer, you know, wrestling. I mean, it's just uh, they're, they're heading in the right direction. It's, it's so many nice bucket players. for Andrew Funk, who's got 14 points. Bucknell wants a third ever victory over an ACC opponent that goes back to 1960 as Morcell heats up from three. A lot of oh, and a steal. Sebron takes it away. Lob ahead to Smith. Oh, my gosh. Now that's what Coach Keats wants. He wants him. 
need to try to keep them down. The team that commits the lower number of turnovers generally is going to win the game. Sebron, that is an incredible finish through two men. But I tell you, Nathan Davis has to be real proud of the, the way his team has played. They're going to be able to capitalize on this performance. And the hometown kid hits the three. And now some history, his career high as a Wolfpack member. Look at Morsell, a little NBA floater drops it in. And I tell you, that's under control. Just 25% from deep. Rice kicks it out. Vander Heiden. That's a good response. That's a, a nice play again. Xander Rice gets into the teeth of the defense. With 37 points. Uh, J.J. Hickson was a great player at NC State. Went on and had a nice career in the NBA. Josh Doe gets Bucknell to 70. Final minute here in Raleigh. NC State in the verge of a home opening win. As pass knocks down the jumper. Substitution timeout for NC State. And after a tie game at half, 40 apiece, the Wolfpack come out storming, forcing turnovers, playing Kevin Keith basketball, earning a home opening victory.